let's get to Married to Medicine. So we start where we ended the last episode with Quad talking about them Miami, Miami stompers with them $100 bills that uh, Simone had when she was keeping it 100 Child, Simone walk off, but I, I get it. Like, that shit was quashed. I feel like, Quad, you could have expressed how you felt a lot better. You came with an angry T rather than a sisterly T. It wasn't sisterly. So Simone get home and she tells Cecil what happened. Simone is pissed. I'd be pissed too. So Toya and Lake are getting together at Mariah's house. Okay, Lake may not be on the show, but she had a good point. Jackie ain't on shit at that little tea party. But Lake, why do you look your mother's age? So, of course, Toya still has a problem with Contessa. She didn't bring it up at the tea because it would have gone to 10. Meanwhile, across town, Jackie and Simone have lunch outside the office, like they always do. That, I think, I think that's real. Okay, Jackie, why are you getting your girl flowers? Just because you're sweet on her, or do you want a favor? So, Simone is done with Heffley because Heffley don't respect her husband. I can get it. But after that $25,000, I don't respect your husband. So Simone is like, look, Jackie, stop trying to get us back together. It ain't gonna happen. I, I like that Simone is done and Jackie needs to respect it. Like, come on. Heavenly's an ass and wait until she's an ass to you. She said, okay, Jackie, you go be buddy-buddy with Mariah and I'll be buddy-buddy with Heavenly. How about that? How about that? Child, Jackie gave her a look like, okay, Heffa. Okay. Carefully, I don't see you winning anybody's student government, anybody's popularity contest because nobody liked you because you have the personality of a viper. You know you're going to get bit and stung. So Contessa lets Heavenly know that Scott is whining about having to watch his own children. Oh, God, now here Heavenly comes with her biblic bullshit of a woman's place is in the home. She gives me a... um. What's that woman from Handma Handmaiden's Tale, that aunt? She give me that fucked up aunt T, just holding women down from the inside. Ooh, it's repugnant. I am so sorry for what Toya and Eugene are going through, but I will say, like, they give a real togetherness T. Like, I believe that marriage is a good one. Like, they really do seem to love each other and... This is bringing them together, not tearing them apart. So that's, that's a relief to see. You see so many fake marriages. It's like, oh, wow, genuine human emotion. I haven't seen that in probably two or three seasons. Okay, now Simone whining about how dirty it is in her house. Hire a maid. Y'all have money. Hell, Cecil ain't working, so that's your maid. I don't know what the hell. You, yeah, let his ass be the maid for a couple years. Work off that kid's force debt. Child, she don't even want to walk the dog. Damn. Girl, you need to move on out. You need to let them live there. Just move to an apartment in the city. I think you'd like it better. You ain't fucking that husband. Simone, you need to give them $100 each for having them rubbers in their room. Girl, you need to have Amazon sending, like, boxes. There need to be condoms all over that joker. You got, mm-hmm. Uh, let's, uh, hold on. I'm going to give them boys a round of applause for not hitting it raw. Please, that means you brought him up right. Oh, oh, the boys got some rules for the mama. <laughs> I mean, Simone does the most. I think that's why her being a doctor works, cause she ain't never home. So it's like, okay, right when she's too much, she gotta go deliver a baby and she get out your face. Ha! <laughs> oh God, the one son said the hostility and your tone of voice. <laughs> you do be talking, I mean, you almost as bad as Heavenly, but you don't give that much of a shit about other people, so you don't really get in their business. But, ooh, I feel sorry for Heffley's kids. I feel sorry for Alora's boyfriend. Alora gonna keep all her men away from her mama. I mean, I'm pretty loud. Or maybe other people are just quiet. Oh, God, Heavenly and her daughter, I gotta fast forward. I just gotta. Meanwhile, across town, Jackie goes to visit Quad and what few wigs she was able to keep in the divorce. Okay, so Quad plugging her little cookbook. Oh, wait a minute, but wasn't that about, like, romantic recipes or some shit? Wasn't that about, like, cooking with your mate? 
meals with your mate, I think. I can't remember. But Dr. Jackie gone say, oh, you know you could buy all these vegetables pre-cut. I am so surprised at you, Dr. Jackie, for saying that. You know that the majority of foodborne illnesses come from pre-cut vegetables, and the safest way to prepare vegetables is to rinse and wash yourself. I'm really disappointed in you. Oh, Quad had a point, and Quad had a read. You catch babies. I cook. Let me, me, you, you. I don't try to you. I, I don't try to be a friend of medicine, you know, and, and give people diagnoses and whatnot. But I know about fresh food, and I know what I need. I know what I need to pick. I know how it needs to be. Child, you could get home, and them tomatoes be soggy and sorry. Jay getting it in says she non-cooking, she non-fucking. What's she good for? Honey, I don't know. I mean, she's good for her patients, but it don't seem like much else. Okay, so she gonna tell her about how she started with Simone on that damn crab boil. Oh, thank God Jackie told her to let it the fuck go. Dr. Jackie is giving us her best Iyanla. Quit talking. I want you to listen to me. I want you to listen to me. I mean, Quad does have some shit to own, but I just feel like her and Simone don't need to fuck with each other anymore. But then again, maybe six lips are better than four. I wouldn't know. Quad is a professional victim. Thanks, chat. I don't know if I'm going to need a bumper for this or not. I'm pretty sure I'm going to need a bumper. But uh, Mariah Huck is on uh, Watch What Happens Live, and I, I don't know if I ever want to look at her for that long. And speak of the heifer, here she is. Simone and Mariah are having a beverage. Okay, so Simone telling Mariah, look, I need you to make nice with Jackie and I'm going to make nice with Heffley, with Heffley so we can fall out again and keep this coin coming in. Oh, oh shit. Oh shit, we going to do it right now. Jackie and Heffley going to pop up and pop in. So, of course, Heffley is pissed. I would be too. Ooh, I would be so mad if you brought me out to lunch and Simone was there. I just feel like she'd yell at me. She'd be like, you know, your videos are funny, but... I, I, she would give me that button. I'd be like, I don't tell you how to do your job. Don't, me, don't tell me how to do mine. If you don't like it, don't watch. So Mariah says, look, my issue with you, uh, Jackie, is... You put out those drug allegations without confirmation. And she right, she right. She did treat that shit as the truth. And that's that low-key shade, that low-key shade. And that's the shadiest of the shade when it's truly low-key. Because it's telling. Now, Jackie, stop backpedaling, stop pussy-popping. You too smart of a woman to not understand you didn't say alleged. I could accuse you of doing cocaine right now. And if somebody says, oh, should Alex have brought up Jackie's cocaine use? By them saying that and not saying alleged in front of it or accusation in front of it, that, that makes you think, oh, well, it, it might be real. It's being treated as real. And then she gonna play dumb about, oh, you showed your slip. You know what that means, Jackie. You know what that means. You're the type of heifer who would say it. You're the type of heifer who would wear a slip. I don't think any of these other ladies would wear a slip other than you. And maybe Shoot Lucy. I don't even think Shoot Lucy would put a slip on. You're the only slip wearer in the group. I bet you you could go through their closets, you wouldn't stop find slip to first. I bet you you've got a really nice collection of high-end slips. Do they still make slips anymore, or do they, do they just build it into the dress now? So Jackie goes on and apologized. She said, it offended you, and I'm sorry. Ain't even gonna put no if in it. So now we got Simone going against Heffaly about putting her jobless, broke-ass, sorry investment husband's business in the street. Mm, I'd have dropped him. Okay, Heffaly said, look, you never told me about the job shit and confidence. You was kind of, you know, telling it to everybody. And that's kind of everybody else's consensus. Everybody else is like, oh, yeah, we knew, Cecil, we knew Simone was pissed. I, I can't remember. But you know what? Simone is always pissed. So to try to pick out a specific moment of her pissivity, it's a little difficult over the past five, six seasons. Okay, I'll say this. Cecil never should have said shit to Heffaly. 
ever. Like, the, the tweet about the pressure wash, the house, like, uh-uh. Okay, it was Mariah, and so that made it messy. Simone, if it was your read, it would have been fine. But Mariah, he should have stayed quiet. <sighs> so, of course... Carefully starts big up in Damon and saying, well, there's a lot of things that Damon wouldn't do and your husband does, blah, 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 blah. They go to the bathroom, but we're going to have another reconvening. Oh, Pete just barked in his sleep. I, I still feel, I, I get Simone's point. It's one thing for Cecil to say something or me to, you know, throw a little shade but that's us in our marriage. Stay the fuck out of it. If we have a private conversation, that conversation needs to stay private. We don't need to know that, oh, you've been venting to the best friend too. It could also be, look, I could tell him he needs to get a job. I can tell him kids force is stupid. I can tell him because I'm his wife. Don't you tell him shit. But that's also why you keep your business out the street. So, Heffley and Simone apologize to each other so they can have some drama this season because you know they're going to take that shit right back. Give you a little apology, then they take it right back. Give you a little sorry, then they take it right back. All right, that was the episode. It was okay. It was okay. 